hello hello it's working now looks like it's working now can you see me can you hear me okay Okay, looks like it's working now. Not so sure. Okay. Oh, I ha I had a problem here. I didn't know even what happened. I just I was just you know <laughs> hitting really hard on my keyboard everywhere. Okay, I'm gonna start sketching a little bit. Can you hear? See me? Okay. See my hand moving? Maybe maybe the the image. Maybe there's nothing. Okay. Now the sound. The sound is okay. No, I want to be sure that you 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 will see me. Okay. Yeah, please let me know you can see me. You see you see my hand. Okay. You see my hairy arm. <laughs> okay. Okay. Thank you. Looks like everything is okay now. So sorry about you know there is always problems. Uh, 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 so difficult you know to 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 it's just not i don't know too many options i usually every time that i have a problem here i usually i choose default everything default default it looks looks like that doesn't work always okay okay i see rachel said, said yes yes sharon is saying yes i see your hairy arm <laughs> okay that's good <laughs> okay Okay, uh, let's draw. I'm gonna paint this beautiful image. I found this one and I think the contrast is really, really, really amazing. I'm gonna start just drawing with a little bit of bar amber and adding a little bit of linseed oil. Let's start sketching. Basically, you know that I start with simple lines and you can sometimes even count one two three four five and this should be enough to place the face on the canvas okay and things is pretty fast and easy you're gonna be able to move it to the left to the right okay in case obviously you're painting in just in one section a la prima just really fast i could move it here i could move it here it's kind of pretty simple this is what we call the composition because it's basically the placement of the head on the canvas which is pretty simple okay I use a canvas for uh, this is a canvas I use a portion of the canvas for me uh, to mix the colors okay hello Marius hello Wolf Pack Studios hello Thomas okay looks like everything is okay now looks like hello Leonidas <coughs> okay one thing you know is uh, I always I work obviously by observation and at the same time I use just the regular proportions let's say the can when you use regular proportions and you have a front view like this you're going to split the face in two you can place a line you can split from the hairline to the bottom in three portions okay let's see one two three yeah kind of close i'll close that and then by doing this we have an idea about the position of the eyebrows an idea about the base of the nose and obviously the base of the chin okay now i check out the photograph and i see maybe she has a higher forehead maybe she has a shorter nose and, and adjust and move that okay what else Another thing, I split this in three portions 
and I see the eyes on top of this line. I see that on the photograph, no, okay. She has the eyebrows a little bit up and because uh, her face is tilted backward a little bit, I think the eyes are a little bit lower, like around here. Yeah. Okay, between the eyes there is one eye. Yep, I gotta consider that. Now, right now, I'm squinting down my eyes, okay? Uh, basically, when you squint down your eyes, you're gonna see clearly the shadows. And I'm doing that to draw this, the nose. Because I'm drawing the shadow here. Shadow here. And shadow here, okay? Okay, let's see the nose. Another thing, usually the width of the nose is the same as the width between the eyes, that means it's the same width of one eye. Okay, from the bottom of the nose to the bottom of the chin, I split this in two and I can see the mouth on top of this line. Okay, that's the canon. I check out that with the photograph, I think because of the position she has kind of a bigger chin, yeah? yeah? I don't think that the bottom of the lip is in the middle. I think it's a little bit up. Or I move the mouth a little bit up, or I'm, uh, uh, I'm, I'm gonna move the chin a little bit lower. Okay. Uh, John Akpobi, thank you. Hello, Barbara. Let's continue. Okay. Now here basically I gotta see try to match the width of the face and the height of the face. Yeah, I think it's a little bit narrower. Yeah. Now let's see the shape of the forehead. It looks like a perfect curve. A perfect curve here, yeah? Yeah, kind of, yeah? yeah okay. Something that uh, I'm paying attention right now is something that I think is got my attention is the, the distance between the eyebrows. You see, this area is called the globella. So we can find here a triangular shape. Okay, is there is kind of a white space here between one eyebrow and the other eyebrow okay what about the neck from here 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 okay i'm gonna use a bigger brush and the first thing i'm gonna do is just paint a little bit of the hair okay i'm gonna make it this i want to get that dark first i'm mixing it more amber, a little bit of alizarin crimson, a little bit of linseed oil. Okay, if anybody has a question about materials, about the colors, anything about the brushes, Feel free to ask, ask me anything, anytime. Okay. Let's see, I'm trying drawing, just painting the city shadows. Oh, this area is pretty dark. Okay. Let's see. 
see. Mm -hmm. I'm squinting down my, my eyes and stepping back. Yeah. Looks like it's okay. Okay, now uh, the proportions, comparison, and the shadows right now are helping me with, with the, obviously the, the, the structure of the face. Okay, I'm going to add some color right now, and after that, I'm gonna just start adding some details to the eyes and then to the nose and the mouth. Okay, I'm gonna use another brush same size as this one okay i'm gonna mix a couple of color one color one color is gonna be for the light and another color for the shadows Hello Brian, hello, Bar uh, okay. hello Omar, hello Jason, Jason, okay, let's continue, okay, now the skin color, you know that the, I always prefer to think about the skin color like a knockdown orange, it's easier, from there I move, I make it a little bit yellowish, a little bit pinky, but in this, in this way I don't overthink, that much about the skin color obviously it's different from person to person but we need something to begin with and something simple the same way we simplify drawing is it's better if we simplify simplify color okay i have orange and white and i'm gonna knock down this one you can pick up between more umber you can pick up between blue or black no any of those colors is going to knock down orange and that's what i want okay now look at the image it's kind of pinky it's kind of yellowish what about the lights i don't see like an intense yellow on the lights it's a little bit there is a little bit you know because of the light of the skin color but it's not that intense i'm gonna add a little bit of cadmium red and let's see if this is uh obviously i'm not painting right now the light the highlights i'm gonna add the highlights a little bit later Squinting down my eyes. Okay, pretty simple. Don't overthink this that much. Painting a portrait that's going to be always difficult. We're going to make it more difficult at the beginning. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to draw again. I'm going to pick up a smaller brush. Smaller brush here, and I'll start drawing again. Uh, 
Hello Tita. Hello Nikki. Hello Ana Maria. Okay. I'm gonna pick up again. Uh, Bert Amber. Get a bit of a listen crimson. Okay, that was too much a listen crimson. Okay. Let's draw again. Now remember I have the image next to my painting, pretty close. Um, my monitor on my screen here. And that's an advantage because I can compare easily. And the the, the more uh, the more I paint, the more I have here on my canvas, the more I can compare. You no know, and pick up the differences, okay? Between the two, between the painting and the photograph. Pick up the differences in between the photograph and the painting and I mean at the end that's, that's what we want, you know. And you start fixing and fixing. One thing about her about her nose is kind of it's not perfectly in the center. It kind of looks like kind of twisted, you know. And that's something about hair, you know. I don't know if that's if we call this a broken nose, but it's not perfectly straightforward. It's kind of pointing a little bit to the right. Now, having the image to my left, that gives me an advantage about placing the mouth because if I do this. With this brush, I can just see that it's okay, the eye is okay, the other eye is okay, the nose, yeah. the chin. Okay, that put me pretty close. Let's paint the background. Uh, I, I want to just let's say kill the canvas, painting on all, all over the canvas. Mm -hmm. Hello, Jenna. Thank you. Okay, let's paint the canvas. Let's paint the back, but the background it's kind of kind of bluish. Let's just a little bit of ultramarine blue, a little bit of black and white. Okay, that was too much white. Okay. That's okay. A little bit darker here. A little bit lighter here. Okay, now I have basically one, two values on the face, okay? This one that represents the light, this one all over this area, and I have this one, the first one that's basically brown, that's for the shadow, just brown, okay? Brown. Yep. Is that now? I need to add lights. Okay, every object that you paint, you're gonna find that there is lights, midtones, and shadows. Okay, and obviously highlights and reflected light and all of that. But since we're starting this simple, just think about two values 
and now we're gonna add uh, one more value that's gonna be light I'm doing the same orange and white and I'm going to knock it down this but not that much because the color that goes lighter we can saturate this color a little bit more than this one okay a touch a touch of burnt amber that was too much Agra just mix more paint more orange and white okay let's see no light another thing about these lights we usually we're gonna find the lights on the same spots all the time okay all the time that the light conditions are the same okay as an exercise you can practice about this okay for example I'm not gonna watch I'm not gonna watch the photograph I'm not gonna see the, the photograph I know there is light here I know there is light here because of the nasal bone okay Usually the light, the light here goes to one point, then it stops there, and then the highlight on the tip of the nose. I know there is light here. Why? Because of the cheekbone, the psychomatic bone, the cheek. Okay. Light here because, because of the muscle that goes from the nose to the mouth. Light here because there is a bump like here because there's a bump like here because obviously the spherical form of the chin okay what else light here light on the upper eyelid because it's rounded you know the upper and lower eyelid are basically covering a sphere now check out the photograph and yeah that's the same spots why? Because the, uh, the anatomy of the face, the bones, the muscles. That's something that we're going to start learning. It's, uh, that's going to be always the same. In this way, you know, I always say that the painting is kind of a combination between what we know and what we see. Okay? What we know and what we see. Now, I did, I, uh, basically, I did lay down these brush strokes without checking out the photograph just to show you okay what I know about the lights because you if you're continually painting a portrait you wanna realize hey it's kind of the same you know different person different face same light conditions you're gonna find out that the, the lights are in the same spots okay that's practice uh, hello Maria, hello Joan. Okay, okay. Hello Beverly, hello. Okay, Dita, I have some eye problems. Okay, oh, so sorry, Dita. Hope you can, you, you will get better soon. Hello Lothar. Hello Victor. Okay. Hello Luis, hello Ali, the Villers. Okay, let's continue. Now I'm gonna just uh, smooth out these brush strokes. Okay, need a bigger brush. Okay, uh, this is obviously not enough. Every time that not enough, I'm thinking about the, the lights. I gotta go over the lights usually like two, three times. Why? Because after blending, I'm gonna knock down the lights. You know, but sometimes to the point that I, I'm just gonna see them. I'm gonna see a little bit of them. Okay. Now. Another thing, not all the lights on the face are gonna have the same intensity. They're gonna have the same, you know, bright. They're gonna see the, the same lightness. For example, if I have a highlight here, okay. Usually, we're not gonna see. Usually, not always. Obviously, 
the same highlight here okay maybe it looks like it's pretty close but we gotta pick up okay in order to create depth in order to create dimensionality the last the lightest light on the face is usually is gonna be the highlight on the nose why because we want the nose to pop forward okay here because there is a bone and if we have this highlight pretty bright we don't want to have the same light here why because that's you know that our purpose is to make the nose pop forward if we add the same intense intense light everywhere there's no there's not gonna there's not gonna be a reason for us to do that since that's gonna affect the depth that's gonna affect the dimensionality of the face I mentioned that because that's a kind of mistake you know we have one color and we just put that color everywhere at the beginning that's okay because at the beginning we need to basically uh, put the lights you know but after that we gotta start thinking hey you know I'm gonna just enhance this light a little bit more not this one Okay, I'm squinting down my eyes and comparing. Uh, one thing that obviously we are always worried about that's the likeness, you know. It's like one angle moved or one of the proportions maybe is different and that's gonna affect the likeness. Uh, right now I'm not so worried about that, but I will be for sure. Okay. Let's see, I'm gonna change to a different brush. Let's see. Okay, let's paint this eye. Here and here. Okay. Light here. Okay, oh, this eye looks like it's a little bit up. I'm gonna lower this eye a little bit. Okay, let's blend. Let's continue down my eyes. Yep. Okay, I need a darker color. the nose okay I, I gotta reduce the size of the eyes yeah. mm -hmm. uh, uh, Victor is asking me people tell me what's the best toilet Paint perfectly. What's toilet? Toilet. Canvas. Maybe you mean canvas. Oh, okay. I don't know. Yeah, maybe it's canvas. Yeah. I think the best one is lining. But that's the expensive one too. Okay. Uh, has light, mid-tone, and shadows, okay? At the same time, I'm working on the drawing, okay? I'm squinting down my eyes a lot because right now, basically, I'm comparing and keeping my eye 
my eyes squinted to compare okay the, the the thing that I see when I keep my eyes squinted is basically the shadow pretty clear okay pretty clear this pretty clear the dark of the eye the dark of the eye pretty clear it goes like this dark and dark okay now I'm using that for drawing yeah I mean, I say it by, by drawing because there is, always, there is two ways to approach when it's about drawing. And I mean by drawing the proportion, the proportion and the position of the features of the face is, uh, let's say, a linear approach. Okay, that's pretty easy, you know, you pick up a pencil and we just draw lines. Or a sculptural approach. That means that we work with a uh, values like this was a, it's a sculpture and little by little we start to just create uh, or make uh, the form more closer to the to our models you know face okay okay let me see yeah. And I'm thinking that the eyes are kind of big. Mm, another thing, another thing I'm thinking uh, it's about the chin. Okay, that's this kind of be kind of tricky. I don't know. Okay, okay. Gotta continue. Let's add more paint here. Now I'm trying to get closer to the value, obviously it's darker here, and the color too, okay, value color, here's a little bit reddish, you can change this to, uh, let's say, greenish brown color, and work the shadow in this area, here. I'm gonna pick up some black and a lizard and crimson. Let's make this darker. Okay. As you can see, I'm establishing color, I'm establishing the values. Color was the beginning, simple orangey color. It's close to the photograph. Yeah. You know the photograph you can you can you can tell that it's more pinky mine is not that pinky okay i established light mid-tones shadows color something that i'm gonna get close now to finish up with values i gotta just paint the darks that i can see that are pretty clear here on the photograph and, and values i'm capturing the values is helping me with the drawing Well, that's too reddish. I need some green. Okay. Now I'm gonna blend. Okay, uh Just go back from the phone call. <laughs> okay, Nikki. Hello, Ingrid. Okay, thank you. Manuel saying, I think, toilet, it means fabric. Oh, means the canvas. 
or just the fabric just you know sometimes I show the fabric that I use I have a piece here I will show it to the camera in a second I cut this piece just uh, to you know to prepare a new canvas look at that I don't know if this is I if you can see the tooth that's what I use three layers or four layers of gesso it depends and that's enough you know Okay, Nikki see, I never realized the importance of knowing anatomy until you showed us. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's good. Hello, Ka Karim. Okay, let's continue. I remember my first canvases. I mean, obviously, when you were, you were a student, uh, the teacher, I remember, they just the, he told us just to go and buy this um, fabric that you use. It was used at that time for uh, for fl flower, flower. How do you say flower, flower? I don't remember the thing to 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 make uh, bread. What's the flower, flower? Oh my God, I forgot the word. But you know those some big bags. And we used to buy it, and obviously that has a name, a brand. And you can see all the students have the ca their canvases on the end. The back, you see the name of you know the brand. It was pretty cheap. Pretty pretty cheap. But it was pretty good at the same time, you know. And I started we started preparing the canvases with something that is called here like rabbit glue. Okay. Used to kind of heat this rabbit glue and adding a little bit of um, chalk, and that was it. And prepare the canvas. And after like uh, the next day, you know. <laughs> that, that was the problem. Next day, you, you can just go into your studio and you think just an animal just has just died in your studio because the smell of this rabbit glue is pretty, is pretty strong after a couple of days. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure maybe somebody's gonna say, Hey, what's this smell? I mean, the smell is in the canvas. <laughs> But that's that's what what we used to use. Okay. Oh, it does rhyme on it. Flower, flower. Yeah. Rabbit glue in Jason. Yeah. Hello, Blight. Thank you. Yeah, I did. Glue, I think it's, it's rabbit glue. You know, it's a little bit tiny, like spheres, transparent spheres. And you just heat that on water. And then after like the next day you, you go to see this kind of uh, gelatin or something kind of you know like gesso like jello and it smells really bad Okay, I'm gonna draw again. I'm gonna pick up a smaller brush. I'm gonna try to add some details to the eyes. Okay. 
mixing some black with this color here okay again let's see now I'll try to simplify what you see what you see here on the eye basically uh, you know is pretty clear the shape is pretty simple uh, my way of simplification is always just kind of reduce everything to uh, just simple geometrical shapes in this case of the eye that would be something like this to we'll draw the eyes just with two lines okay in two lines here okay now I see in the middle a circle and I see a couple of triangles here one here and one here okay then I make a curve and being sure that not don't paint too dark the lower eyelid because that's another mistake that we go like we paint this or for example like like this yeah? and then we paint the lower eyelid like this yeah maybe with makeup a night it's gonna look like that but uh it's better you know on a painting and right now you see the image you you, you won't see that it's pretty light here but we tend to do that. Another thing, obviously, is that we tend to paint this clear white, pure white. You see here, this is gray. It's not white. Okay. No, let's work on this eye. Let's see, I see a triangle here. Okay, now, what do you see here on the clear on this side? Nothing. Not a common mistake if I don't see anything. Basically, it's pretty dark. Another thing is that we, it's kind of, we love, we want to see something. And we go like this. Okay. Now, if you do that, uh, when you squint down your eyes, you realize that something is not okay. If I squint down my down my eyes, the only thing I see here is just something like that. I don't see anything. Everything is pretty dark. Okay, there is something there, you know, but the value is too dark. That it's not so clear. We don't need to make it clear. Okay. Even it's better if you make it blurry. You make it pretty soft. Okay. Now the same with uh, the sclera here. One side is going to be darker than the other. She has green eyes, I think. It looks kind of greenish on the photograph. Maybe she has blue eyes. I don't remember. Okay. Now. Let's see here, I see some shadow here, okay, it's darker here, darker here, okay. Lower eyelid. Okay. 
Oh yeah, that's right, Manuel. That's what I wanted to say. <laughs> I don't pronounce that because I don't remember how to pronounce. Flower, 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 flower. I oh, don't remember. Anyway, it comes out for me like flower, but flower is you know it's different. Uh, hello, Sylvia. Yeah, Nikki saying knowing where those highlights bumps are placed and catching the light source makes the image read with so much realism. Okay. Yeah. Hello Edson, hello Maria. Uh Manuel is saying the model looks like a very young Mary Strip. No, that's it that's here. That's Mary Strip. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's Mary Strip. It's Mary Strip. Yeah. John Veneti saying this is so helpful. I will try again to sign up for your Saturday morning class. Okay, John. Welcome back. <laughs> okay, let's continue. Still, uh, no, another mistake, you know, is paint the eyes a little bit bigger. And that's something that we gotta pay extra attention because that's pretty common. There is, it's, it's just the, the only thing that I do, you know, to, let's say, to prevent myself to do that is always, I work a little bit on the eyes, you know, and then I move to the nose, and then I move to the mouth. I don't stay that much trying to finish up uh, the eyes and, and then move to finish up the nose. No, no, it's always, it's always like this. I just, you know. I rotate, if you go back on the video, any any one of you, you're going to see that. Uh, a kind of the position of the eyes, the nose and the mouth is there from the beginning. You know, but I start moving then a little bit up, a little bit lower and start working on the size. The eyes at the pretty beginning, they were a little bit bigger. You know, I'm reducing the size of the eyes and adding more shadows because obviously I just started with basically just three values. And on the face, there are more than three values. Yeah. Okay. And always think about shadows, okay? Usually on the nose, we're going to see that even maybe we don't notice, but lower portion of the nose is always a shadow. It's going to be always a little bit darker. Than the proportion. So, I mean, I mentioned things that I have seen so so many people made a mistake. You know, we go and paint just with one color all the nose here, to basically to the holes, to the nostril like that. That's gonna make the nose flat. Okay, and sometimes it looks like that. Yeah. But remember, there's going to be always a shadow, even if you don't see the shadow, okay? If you don't see the shadow, there's, there's always a shadow, I promise. The, the, the problem is that we don't see all the values. No matter how hard we try, uh, what helps, it, obviously, is screen down our eyes a lot. Another thing that helps nowadays with technology is just pick up the photograph and darken up the photograph with any software in my case I use Photoshop okay and uh, I do a little bit of that it's not like a you know if obviously you, if somebody here is in my Patreon account and some people I think has been in my Patreon account or right now they are on my Patreon account yeah you see that I analyze the photograph every time that I'm about to paint it's not that you know, I put the image just right here and said, okay. And even when that happens, I need at least five minutes. You know, that happens when somebody asks you to paint a live session. Okay? And that happened to me a couple of times, you know, by surprise, at least a couple of times by surprise. Like, hey, teacher, why don't you make a demo? I say, okay. And it's like we have here a, can a canvas 
And I see the canvas, oh my God, that's so bad. I said, okay. And what about the color? Okay, here are the colors. Okay, and then who's the model? And I remember once somebody told me, okay, choose the model. Okay, you're gonna choose the model. There was a classroom, you know? And I was just walking there uh, and I saw a guy <laughs> that he has, he had a really thick eyebrows. And, and his nose was really short. And he has a big square mandible. And I said, between all the faces there, I said, I'm gonna paint that one. <laughs> and people said, I mean, yeah, okay, you know, it was okay. For me, it was like, okay, I'm gonna, you know, that's gonna be easy just to get the likeness of that guy. Just like that. It was pretty easy to just see the features. Yeah. And another time somebody told me, hey, paint, uh, it was like a, a volunteer, a, a, a woman, and she she has kind of a, kind of a per perfect face, proportions, everything pretty nice and I say okay this is gonna be difficult you know because I didn't see any anything that makes that face that kind of recognizable from that from you know from from the mind like hey what about the nose and recognize that the nose is you know something particular even if somebody paints me and paints just my beard and my hair my head without hair is even maybe without the features we say oh I think that's the that's that's the, that's Renzo you know things that make easy just for people to recognize the model and uh, at that occasion I did that I painted that guy and everybody was oh my god that's pretty good you know it's him it's him it's uh, it's pretty close uh. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna blend. But yeah, he's saying uh, flower is pronounced the same as flower. Oh, oh, that, that's good. <laughs> that's easy. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, Nikki, Arena, Spanish. Yeah, yeah, Nikki, is that uh, John Mary Street? Okay, I'm gonna blend. Now that I added some lights and shadows, I start to see the eye more rounded. I start to feel, you know, there is something rounded, be, be, you know, beneath the uh, the eyelids. That's the idea. And little by little, we start adding more and more paint. Notice that I start pretty light. But it's not that light that does kind of, you know, it's not almost no paint. I mean, I have paint here and, uh, you know, try kind of the same but without any medium. And you're gonna kind of get close to the amount of paint that I use. Okay. Let's see.
Okay, I'm gonna, I need to step back. Okay, 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 okay. Hey, yeah, kind of close. Uh, this is kind of pointy. I'm gonna make it more rounded. Okay, that's one thing. I gotta reduce the size of the eyes. Yeah, a little bit more. I think I got this area here, the shadow. That, sh that shadow helped me a lot with this area. Okay, now let's go with the mouth and the, the chin, the, man the mandible. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I just squinted down my eyes to compare values. Stepping back. Okay, I gotta reduce. I think at the same time the uh, the forehead. Okay, let me see. Okay, not so sure about that. Okay, let's add more paint. Gonna make this a little bit pinky. Now this is something that I used to do just to make this easier to understand about the the colors on the face. There is some there are some areas that the skin color is more reddish, okay? And sometimes those areas of that color is pretty subtle. Well, obviously on a painting we could exaggerate that. For example, obviously we know that the cheek, cheeks are more reddish. Yeah. Now don't move this color, this reddish color, all the way to the edge, okay? If you do that, uh, we're gonna make this flat. Here on the edge, we need to have a different color. Uh, it's kind of knocked down orange here. That's gonna work because this is kind of this is it's gonna it's gonna recede a little bit, and this one is gonna come forward. And that that the idea is obviously to create the illusion that this is turning. And was what's gonna complete that illusion is to soften the edge to make it kind of lost a little bit lost and that's gonna complete you know okay I'm trying right now you know to complete that illusion that the face is turning Okay, I need to step back to check out the color there. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Okay. Some pink here. Any question about materials or anything? Okay. Now what is, uh, you know, the reddish areas on the face are a little bit of the forehead, 
the upper and lower eyelid, okay, the cheeks, the nose, okay, and the chin. See the mouth a little bit lower. Uh, yep. Hello Marlon, hello Michelle, hello Saida. Uh, uh, loud, loudness guy Nick is asking me how do you know when to stop with the portrait and what was your longest painting from start to finish? My longest painting? Maybe I mean, a la prima, maybe it was five hours. Uh, yeah, I think five hours. And when to stop? Yeah, that's a that's a difficult question. We always want to continue retouching and retouching. Uh, but uh, uh, here I uh, and you know uh, basically I, I I work for three hours. Sometimes I paint it for four hours, but I try, you know, basically just to paint for three hours. As much as I can get in three hours, that's going to be okay. Yep. I, I had an idea so many times about, um, you know, here in YouTube, you got the ideas basically just watching other guys, other people doing that. And I saw a guy, like, like more than one guy, you know, making some marathons, like painting for 12 hours, painting for, you know. I saw a guy draw, drawing for, I think it was, 48 hours yeah. wow that's amazing yeah i don't know i mean obviously all of them uh, had a reason they want they started to promote something a course a book i don't have uh you know i would like to try to try that someday just like a challenge to paint uh, you know that when i well, when I was, not the portrait, but usually when I used to, when well, they say it kind of 10 years ago, maybe a little bit more, when I used to work on my studio, I used to paint usually for 10 hours. And sometimes, even some days I have painted almost without stopping, just stopping, you know, to go to the, to go to the bathroom to eat. And I was painting for 12 14 hours, which is a lot, you know. I didn't know about YouTube that time, about YouTube. And I usually paint and I have a TV on to my left. Uh, my laptop, a TV on and painting and watching movies like, you know, the whole day. Pretty nice. Yep. 12, 14 hours, you know, I didn't have a life. <laughs> yeah. 
He just punch him, you know. That's okay. What can I say, you know? I love to paint. Even a few times, you know, some sometimes some friends just went to my studio to take me out to drink some beers, to spend some time out. And I was like, oh my god, I mean, I gotta go back to paint. I wanna go back to paint. But, you know, at the same time I was thinking, hey, you know, that's, it's kind of, you gotta, you're gonna forget even to speak if you don't go out. At the time I used to uh, just have a studio. I had a studio just by myself alone. You know, I, I told that story <laughs> before that it was pretty funny. I, I was when I was uh, 20 years ago, more, more. I was single, no responsibilities, just painting. And I used to carry my, my easel, my canvas, and, and I rent a room. Put my easel, you know, I used to do that. And I used to sleep on the floor. Or I used to buy just kind of a, a thin uh, mattress. And you know, I I paint, I sleep. <laughs> that was pretty funny. Then I moved to to another another let's say studio. It was a, a room, you know, but let's say a studio. And I do the same. Just my easel, uh, a, a, a mattress, or or sometimes I just sleep on the floor. It was an adventure, yeah, you know. It's just like I remember my friend, some of my friends told, telling me, they, hey, why don't you buy a bed? And I was like, oh, yeah, yeah I should. But, uh, you know, after thinking a little bit, I say, no, I, I, you know, I picture myself kind of moving to a different space and carrying a bed and all of those things. I, you know, it was enough for me for my, with my easel, my, a little bit of, uh, you know, my brushes and all of that, and then move to a different space was enough with that I couldn't do that nowadays yeah my back would kill me if I do that uh, I had a small studio I remember I saying that more more basically were was about having a room uh, it was on um, one of my friends he, uh, his family uh, had a hotel and they had a, a room on the top of the hotel on the fourth it was a fourth floor I think and they rented me that yeah. and my friend just gave me a carpet really thick carpet and that was pretty amazing, you know, because I used the carpet for to sleep. I just my easel again, just my easel, my paint, and sleeping on the carpet. I would like to do that again. Okay, I'm continue, you know, kind of drawing, working on values, adding more light and blending. Okay. Oh, Nikki saying we challenge you to do a self portrait. <laughs> okay, I will try. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. 
No, I haven't painted. Uh, I haven't painted a self portrait. Either. Jonas, when you start the drawing process with the charcoal, do you prefer to do it with the charcoal or with or with paint? Okay, uh, when I start with just paint, uh, I gotta say that I spend more time, you know, kind of drawing with a brush again. When I start with charcoal, it's easier. Okay, I spend a little bit of time with the charcoal, correcting, correcting. Then I go over the painting with some paint to go over the drawing again. Kind of, kind of fix the drawing to the canvas with oil paint. And then I start painting and uh, I gotta say that that's, that that's easier for me. But at the same time I enjoy, you know, this is kind of, uh, each painting is kind of a challenge for me. The lightness, the color, all of that. Some of them are more difficult than others, but each one of them is a challenge. Eh? Okay, I'm adding a little bit of orange to the mouth. Yeah. Red and orange. Okay. Little bit of light. Reflected light. Light here. Light here. Remember at the beginning when I said, hey, we're, here are the lights, highlights and all of that. I go over those areas because right now it's kind of I've lost a little bit of those lights. Yeah. But now obviously with more control because I'm thinking, uh, controlling about thinking that I got to keep my lightest light where? Tip of the nose. And the other way, the other one could be here. Yeah. And I gotta be sure that, for example, if this light is pretty bright, it shouldn't be as bright as this one or this one. Okay. Even if I see on the photograph that's pretty bright, I won't copy that. I will try to get pretty close, but I will try to, at the same time to have control about the intensity of the lights. Okay. I should pay my portrait. Okay, Nikki, I'm, I'm gonna do it. Uh, I'm gonna look for a for, for a photograph, like for you know, a 20 years ago photograph. Yeah, maybe not that not that long, but 10 years. I mean, I want that I have some hair on my head I, I, at least. Okay, oh, hello RDC, hello Brian, hello Mohamed. Sharon Bonari is saying I use charcoal because it rework is so often. Yeah, yeah, it's the charcoal is pretty easy, you know, to erase, to draw again.
Okay, I clean the brush. Here, I have to clean the brush a little bit more. I'm cleaning it with linseed oil. Uh, I, you know, uh, doing that, I uh, usually I clean my brushes with turpentine, the one that you buy in a hardware store. So I'm cleaning here with turpentine oil because my space is closed. I don't like, I don't want to, def I don't want the fumes of, of turpentine here inside here. work here make it rounded yep now let's see the highlight the reflected light sorry do a bit of orange and let's see Mm, kind of difficult to see uh, here the it's kind of here oh, okay that's too much eh that's too much Hmm. A little bit up. A lot up, I think. Kind of, you know, pushing the paint a little bit up. Yeah, I'm gonna try again with a smaller, smaller brush. No, you know this it wasn't there. Okay, up, up, yeah, let's put it here. Up, let's put it here. Okay, I need a smaller brush again. When this is brush number double zero. Okay. Okay, I think that's better. Yeah. Yeah, that's better. Very dark here. Yeah, I need to darken up this area a lot more. And adding black with at least I'm green some. I'm gonna put pure black here with bar amber. Let's make this really dark. Darker here. Yeah, I can tell that this the shadow is darker on the nose. Okay, but I'm gonna wait there. Let's see. Darker shadow here too. 
with the same brush just changing the pressure I blend a little bit again I think I'm getting close no I need to make it darker I was thinking I was about to say it's getting close to the values Okay, let's step back. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's good. And I need to darken up the eyebrows and work a little bit more on the forehead. Uh, reduce the forehead here. Darker here. Darker here. This reflected light is too bright. Okay, Let's see if I keep it or I knock it down. Hello, Intesar, doing okay? Thank you. And Nikki saying, I think painting all day is the best life you are sure sure reaching a lot of us through youtube art is an obsession for many of us it's wonderful to just paint yeah yeah that's right <laughs> odyssey is saying i would be curious to see you do a painting with sergeant style brush strokes yeah, yeah i would try to do that Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely, that would be a nice, a really nice and amazing exercise. You know, we all admire Sargent. Okay, I'm gonna blend again. No, I go, I go, uh, I make these live streams every Thursday, 2 p.m. Central time, which is the same at Peru time. And the people that hear that speak Spanish, I go live Tuesdays, 1 p.m. Central time. Okay, I need a softer brush. I have, I have one here. Just a second.
Okay, I need a different brush, smaller one for blending. Okay, I have one here. I have to clean it just really fast. Yeah, something's not okay here. Eh? The width of these areas. Oh good, I think let just narrow this here. Yeah, now I'm thinking I should knock down this reflected light. It's too bright. Let's see, let's see. Okay, I just the light on my camera one second. Okay. Uh. Uh, let me know, please. Maybe it's too dark right now. It's okay. Because I think I didn't realize, but I think it's too light. It was too light. Just one second, please. Hello? Kind of difficult for me to see clearly how bright is uh, on my camera, but uh, I think it's closer to to the way it is right now. I think it was too light before. Let me adjust this again. I mean, that usually happens with the cameras. Uh, sorry about that. Something like that, that's too bright. Yeah, that was too bright. Yeah, I think that's better. Okay, let's continue painting. I was checking the light on my camera. Sorry that you see some changes. I mean, you know that sometimes I have some problems. I'm not an expert of this thing. And uh, the, wor the worst thing that I'm not trying even to learn this. I just gave up about trying to adjust my camera. You know? What can I do? Okay. Now I'm adding lights and I'm, I'm blending. I add paint, I'm blending. And little by little, you know, the, the painting got thicker and thicker.
Need more light. More light here. Like I said, I wanna I wanna be careful that the the color that is closer to the edge is just a little bit darker and a little bit more mute than the, than the area that's closer that's closer to us. That's, that's pretty difficult, you know, the photograph, I don't see that, it looks like just the color it goes all the way, all, all the way to the edge, the same color, yeah. But those are the things that some, you want to change, at, at, at least a little bit. Uh, for example, I'm going to pick up this uh, color like this, it's more mute, it's light, but mute, okay, and that's going to be for just the edge now I see I see this in the photograph but I don't it just uh, to create that illusion that this is turning okay I'm pretty sure if I darken up the photograph like a lot uh, sometimes I do that on, on on the sessions on patreon I'm gonna be that maybe the value here is a little bit darker maybe not but since you know um, we try to exaggerate sometimes things change things a little bit definitely this is something that we always has to consider we always have have to consider just adding some value to add you know to this illusion of three-dimensionality to the face even when we don't see that Okay. Hello, Mohammed. Uh. Oh, thank you, Nikki. Nikki's promoting my Patreon page. Somebody was asking me what's the difference between Patreon and YouTube. Uh, uh, my Patreon is is uh, is more for pain alone, like you know, live pain alone lessons. Let's say that this pretty close to what's happening here in YouTube. The difference, obviously, is that we can see each other and that means that I can see is everybody's painting everybody's paintings and I can just you know critique and I think that's basically pretty important you know because uh, we need somebody that point out our mistakes in order to to be able to fix the mistakes because we have mistakes but we don't realize about a mistake yeah it's gonna take us a little bit a little bit time a little bit more to improve and that's patron about okay now there are different tiers in patron like different levels you can join my Patreon account from starting at four dollars per month, and we we paint we paint every Saturday. We don't paint portraits on Saturdays. We paint still life, animals, landscapes. Yep. And for nine dollars, you can join and watch a lot of the recorded lessons. Uh, right now there are almost like 300, kind of 300 recorded lessons. A little bit more, a little bit less. That 
that's the link on the description box that's the link here on the chat box Okay, and we draw Thursdays at night. We paint, and Fridays we have a critique session, two fri Fridays a, mo a month, and we have a couple of paint parties, two Fridays per month. Okay, I need to darken up the, the eyebrow. Maybe that's too dark. Let me see. Oh, that's okay. Highlight, highlight. Okay, I need to step back. Okay, I want to blend a little bit. Okay, I think the shadow here is too dark. Let's see, I'm gonna, maybe I want to light up the shadow on the nose. Let's see. And another thing that's a reflected light on the nose. Okay, let's try to get that reflected light on the nose. Okay, it's kind of...
Okay, okay, okay. Uh, uh, thank you, a, a Nim So Art. Okay. Nikki saying, I wish I could chat with Marilu, but I don't know enough Spanish. Uh, Spanish might, might be a new goal when things settle down a bit in my life. Oh, that would be nice. Yeah. Jonas, I have a question for everyone. Uh, what have you got on your easel now? I'm currently painting a portrait of Jennifer Aniston. Oh, Jennifer Aniston. Oh, that's very nice. Hello, Michael. Hmm. Yeah. Nikki saying, I'm painting a jump version of my mother who recently passed away at 92. Yeah, sorry, Nikki. It's the bug. Uh, something's not okay here in the mandible. I think this light, reflected light, is affecting me. I want to add the highlight on the eyes. Okay, I think that's gonna help. That's gonna help to uh, kind of add more life to to her face. Uh, let's see light here highlight okay let's see the other eye okay Well, I need some green. 
I have chrome green here, chrome green hue. I think that could work. Okay. Uh, a little bit of paint, just a little bit of paint. I should have painted the green first and then the highlight, the highlights on the eyes. Anyway. Okay. At the same time, uh, there are some greens on the face. Usually there is a little bit of green here, where it's just the beginning of the... Not the beginning, they say that when we can touch, touch the bone there. The same time here. Find a little bit of green. Okay. More green here on the nasal bone, close to the nose, close to the eye. Sorry. Okay. And sometimes on painting, we represent all the area here around the mouth a little bit greenish. But that's up to you. Okay. It's pretty, it's pretty nice, you know, to put some green, but it's up to anyone because it's about just controlling more, more colors and eh, sometimes it just, the painting is just going to be beautiful, sometimes just with a few colors at the same time, for example, um, we can add some violet, for example, the shadow, or I can add some green to the shadow. I see a little bit of green here. Okay, if I just follow the photograph, I see some green right there. Now, photograph, but it could be about for us. It could be about just copying the photograph exactly. Uh, but just pay attention because sometimes I have found uh, that obviously photographs are retouched. You know, they change things. They just just because they do. That's how it is. Okay, and sometimes uh, I have seen, like, for example, some areas of the face on the photograph that I think, hey, where is the light like that? When well, it shouldn't be like that. Yeah, I mean, it's lighter or. Or, uh, for example, the white of the eyes, they just to clean up the white of the eyes, sometimes just too much. Yeah, I, have seen, I have seen that on some photographs. Yep. And after cleaning up the white of the eyes, they make the, eye, the white of the eyes whiter, lighter. It's not always lighter okay Okay, let's see. I like it, I like it. Okay, I need to just knock down this. I was waiting to see if I can exaggerate that color a little bit more, but no, 
I think it's not going to work. Okay, let's blend again here. I think I, I, I make the, the neck too light. Okay, a little bit of green. A little bit of green here. Okay, I need more chrome green. John is saying working on a landscape from the photo I took in France. Oh wow. Wolf Pack Studio scene. I have a painting of five life size bass underwater scene. Okay. Uh, and Nimso saying currently working on an on oil of Alicia B V Kinder. Okay. Yeah. To learn the fishing scene, I enjoy watching you paint for the first time. Oh, welcome to my channel, Yolanda. Hello, exploring history. Exploring history is asking me, is that a good idea to add all values over the face and neck at, at once? Uh, yep. Yeah, yeah, sir. I think, hey, yeah, I, I, I usually do that. Yeah, but uh, you gotta consider that Okay, maybe we, we could see, I could see, maybe sometimes there is a highlight on the neck. It's because, you know, it's just like that. There's a highlight, the light is pretty strong. It could be. What I do is just, usually, it doesn't matter if I see a strong highlight on the neck. I usually, I try to knock down the color on the neck. It's just to create some depth here, the neck and the face a little bit up. Yeah, just that. Okay, a bit more white. Touch of yellow. Touch of pink. Some pure white. It's not gonna stay pure white, obviously, everything is wet here. Okay, I just want to add more light on the forehead, okay?
uh, this amount of paint here is creating some texture and I love it yeah, because she has some how do you say this little dots on the skin how do you call them uh, I, don't, I, don't, I don't remember Yolanda is asking me, is those, no, this brush is number zero. It's just a liner brush. All my brushes are synthetic brushes, and the ones that I use for blending, they're usually brushes that are already, the, the, the hair is frayed out. I mean, it's just, just ruined brushes that they're not going to be used for, for making details anymore. But they are pretty useful for, for blending. Freckles, thank you Yolanda. Yeah, I, I think the texture that I added here is going to create uh, the, the amount of oil that I added there, that I did it with the palette knife, you know, like this. And then I'm doing this. And since is the painting is really thick, it's kind of difficult to blend. Uh, and at the same time, I gotta say that maybe I'm thinking that maybe it's better not to blend that much because that's gonna help help me with some kind of texture, you know, kind of similar, without making all those details, those, those freckles all over the face. Okay, another thing that's gonna happen: we always uh, end up with more paint on the light areas the painting could get could get really thicker there that's that's okay that's usually the way it is okay let's just mix here I need a different palette knife softer one That's too bright. I'm gonna make it a little bit darker. Okay, that's better. I gotta clean my brush for blending. it I like it better without it when it was uh, a little bit dark now what I'm doing is picking up a little bit of the darker color on the brush just a little bit of paint Okay, and, and using the brush for blending with that little bit of paint just to darken up this here a little bit okay I'm gonna use a little bit of pink I 
I love the eyes, I think they're pretty expressive. Uh, still thinking that the eyes are a little, I painted the eyes a little bit bigger. I need to just adjust the size of the eyes. Okay. No, nobody's it's nobody at home right now here here and the dog is alone up she's up alone I told my daughter to talk the, took the dog with her because she was pretty quiet okay I don't know what happened I need to light up the shadow, the shadow here. Picking up a little bit of paint and blend with the paint. Can you hear my dog? She's crying. Oh my God. Yeah, she used to do that. She, she used to do that when, when she's alone. Oh my god, now what? Uh, it looks like I, I gotta go up. Okay, I'm gonna work on the white of the eye. I'm gonna add more highlights. The, the eyelashes, yeah, I'm gonna paint the eyelashes. Let me see if the eyelashes change the eyes a little bit. Hello, Cherry. Just waking up in Australia. It's looking good. Oh, well. You're welcome. Spirit history say is this art of painting is kind of a God gifted or, or a learned skill? 
uh, I would say that this, uh, in my opinion, is more something that, well, I don't know, I mean, it's kind of, let's say, half and half, okay? but without practice or training, it's like uh, nobody's going to see an improvement or nobody's going to, Mm, okay, uh, for example, for me, from my personal experience, you know, that's my story is pretty common. When I was a kid, it was like, hey, you draw pretty good. You know, my friends, they used to ask me, ask me for drawings. Okay. And, yeah, but when I was in the School of Art, I realized that I wasn't that good, okay? And it took me a lot of practice to get better. I remember when I, uh, uh, before to get to the School of Art, I thought, I, I thought, I thought, to be honest, that I was good. You know, I was painting a little bit. I was helping my mom with some paintings. But she never told me anything like, hey, you're doing good. You're doing like this, you know, she just, she put me to paint and she fixed my mistakes. And that's it. And I thought I was doing pretty good. And when I got to the School of Art, you know, I, I, I saw people that were really, really good people, you know, painting. Yeah. And when I was a student, I used to, you know, admire a couple of my friends that they were pretty good. They were really, really good uh, about painting the, the portraits, uh, the, about painting the human figure. And I can tell that I started to get better when I started to working on my own alone because I just I started to paint more. You know, that's when I started to paint like ten hours a day or even more. When I was a student, it was a lot of training, you know, but usually it was like five hours per day. But it's a huge difference painting five hours and to paint ten hours or eight hours daily. Uh, uh, in part, it was at the same time because I, I started to make, to paint some commissions. And that was, you know, that was training too. And I started to paint some commissions uh, when I was in the second year year in the School of Art. Usually still lives, mostly still lives. Yeah. And even uh, my first trip out of my country, it was when I was in my 20s. I was 21, I think. And my friend, he uh, has a brother who worked at that time in Colombia selling paintings you know and they needed somebody to paint still lives and my friend he was like hey you want to go there you know for a couple of months to paint you no know, we're gonna pay you like this was something like I don't know a hundred dollars for paintings like 30 by 40 inches each painting and for me it was like really yeah yeah man and he said wow yeah and i packed my things and i went to cali colombia i i was 21 i think or 20. that was amazing yeah That was pretty nice. 
I painted a lot and the guy that, that was there he was a painter too and he used to you know tell me things like hey you gotta fix this you gotta fix that you gotta get better than this and that and that helps critique is you know always helps Okay, but because I was young, I, I wanted to kind of enjoy a little bit of the life, you know. And I used to paint, I started painting like, a, oh my God, I don't remember. I started to paint like, uh, wow, I mean, that, that the thing is that uh, I used to sleep, I wake up at... 12, you know, what 1 p.m., 2 p.m., and take breakfast and start start working. No, 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 2 p.m., and then go out. Go out just to enjoy a little bit, you know, of, of Cali, Colombia. And then came back and started to paint like at 6 p.m., all night, basically. It was something like that. See, highlight here. I need to capture the screen and see it in Photoshop. I'm gonna reverse the image in Photoshop. Okay. And see here more clearly my mistakes and try to fix them. Okay, uh, okay let's do it now. Let's see, I need to step back first. <laughs> Something is, is not okay. Um, I don't know what it is, but I can tell that something is that I'm close, but something is not okay. I think it's, I think it's this area, or I think it's the width of the face, or a shadow below, maybe. Oh, it's a shadow maybe below the mouth. Yeah, yeah, it could be a shadow below the mouth, a little bit of a shadow. It looks like uh, this uh, area is kind of too big, too high. Yeah. A shadow here is going to just reduce the the height of the, the chin. Okay. Here too, I need a shadow. It's kind of a reddish shadow. Let's 
Okay, if I can, you see all those little marks? That's my my pinky. I'm using my pinky to support my hand. about the width of the face uh, okay let's add some yellow to the hair okay I think I'm gonna exaggerate the yellow on the hair let's see what happened the blue, yellow and orange and white Too much, but you know, let's see. Okay, a little bit of orange. This is cadmium orange. I'm gonna use the brush for. Oh, I can use a fan brush. I have a fan brush here. And do one side of the brush. Let's say the corner of the brush. I, I, I see that hair hair is kind of greenish compared to orangey. Yeah. But I'm just trying to see if this works better in terms of color to add some you know some color to the painting. I like it, okay. I like it better this color. But let's see, you know, uh, it's just, it's just that sometimes, you know, we change our mind and I guess I just have to see if I keep it this color or not. Okay, right now I think I, I'm just, I'm just kind of making this kind of stiff there. Yeah. Okay. Again. Okay, what about here? I don't see anything there. I need to work a little bit more in this area. Yeah.
Mm-hmm. Something that got a fix on the mouth. More orangey mouth. Let's see. Let's put more orange here. Oh, I'm going to work on the ear. I'm going to see the comment in a minute. Now, uh, I said that uh, I'm going to capture the screen and open Photoshop. Uh, that could be the same that like using a mirror, okay? I don't have a mirror at hand. And to be honest, I prefer to, to do this. Uh, you can just take a photograph and reverse it. You know, take a photograph of both, okay? The painting and the photograph. In this way, you can compare. I'm about to do that. Okay. I'm gonna reverse and okay. I like it, but you know, mm, yeah. As this, uh, it's gonna be always difficult to do a portrait, and there is something that. I can tell them pretty close, but I know something that maybe it's not okay. And I think it's about the eyes. No, not so sure to be honest. Uh, let's see. I think he, she has some a little bit of a smile yeah here uh, on both sides you know move both sides a little bit up okay that would be one thing 
the only thing I still think is the size of the eyes. But the eye back here below, I think you have to reduce it, make it smaller, make it softer. What about the the forehead? Yeah, I think the forehead is more rounded. Okay. It's more rounded. Yeah. Let me see. And a shadow at the same time, I see a shadow that is around here. Okay, I'm, I'm seeing all those things now that I'm seeing, I'm watching the reverse image. Okay. Try to use a mirror a lot of times. Uh, when uh, uh, when I use Zoom, Zoom, you know, for the lessons, I usually I see the reverse image on Zoom. Here on YouTube, I'm not able to do that. And now what I do is I use Photoshop, okay? But like I said, you don't need Photoshop for this. With your cell phone, that's going to be okay. It's just the thing that my cell phone is not that intelligent. No, I'm the one that I know. Uh, 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 basically, my, I, I use the cell phone just for calls. And... And for taking photographs, uh, but I gotta learn, you know, a lot of things. It's kind of having a computer in the hands. Okay, I'm gonna move uh, this a little bit up. Okay. Here and here. Like a smile, creating a smile. there and there okay okay that would be one thing okay the other thing that would be let's add a little bit of light here on the edge a little bit a little bit lighter okay now reduce the eye bag what about the eyebrows? I think the eyebrow, eyebrows are okay. Okay, what is here? This here. More light in this area. Okay. Uh, that's your dog? Yes, yes, that's my dog, Nikki. She was crying mm -hmm. mm. okay Rob's hello Rob's also okay uh, let's see okay thank you Sylvia Rob's says upper right lip is off your left Okay, thank you. Eyes are too light. Okay, thank you, thank you. Okay. Hello, Mervat. The neck is off too. The left side is longer in your painting, but it looks shorter in the image. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Usually, uh, I use some of the critics, you know. Some, some of them just hit me right at the moment, the second, and I think, wow, I, I see that. I see the mistake. Okay. Sometimes that doesn't happen. But I always try to check out, okay. Uh, let's see, let's see. Now, the good thing about the shadow side that is too dark, that I think I'm not going to do anything here. I'm just going to try to get the edge of the face and just keep it there yeah. okay uh, what else what else mm. yeah I think making a little bit of creating a little bit of a smile on, on her mouth 
it works. Yeah. Okay. Uh, somebody was saying about traveling. Yeah, I would love to go to more places. Definitely. But my, my idea about going to a place, you know, is stay there. Like maybe a few months. Rent a place and uh, kind of live, you know, the same. Like I was just one of the regular neighbors okay well, basically that's what I, I have done every time that i went to any any place anywhere in this, any country yeah i, I don't stay on a hotel uh, i rent an apartment or yeah, i live in some if i have a friend on that area obviously on that country is better Let me use a little bit of violet. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. I need to step back. And what time is it? Two hours, 40 minutes. I think I'm going to, okay, family is back. Can you hear them? Diga Nola. Diga Nola. Fuerte. <laughs> In English. <laughs> can, you, can you hear my, my, my son? I, I told him, hey, say hello in English. He's like, uh. <laughs> no, the thing is, is about speaking English is, for example, that it feels weird to make the sound. And when my son is studying English, I try to help him, you know. Uh, I prefer that he listen native uh, speakers, but anyway, I try to help him in to make the sounds, the R sound or any sound, and and it's it's like with practice, you kind of get close, okay? but definitely your brain is going back always to your native language. But anyway, that sounds my son is sometimes is, you say I, I, you got it. And he's like, yeah, but I'm not going to speak like that in front of my friends, you know, because it sounds, it doesn't sound, eh, it doesn't sound okay. Nobody speaks like that. Eh? And he's, but, but that's kind of closer, you know, to, to, to the way to speak English. I can hear that. I can notice. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but no, no, no way. <laughs> it's just like, I see, okay. And then it's like you gotta speak with a thick accent. That's that's the way that you gotta speak it English here. If you're studying English, and I'm trying just to get you know closer to the sound of English, and and my sound is kind of you know in the the other direction. It's just because it's just the way everybody speaks in the school. Is yeah, pretty sure that everybody's gonna is gonna make fun of him if. He sound more like an English speaker. Okay, what else? Let me see. I think I need to narrow the narrow the face here.
Uh, remember, we need to soften edges always. Learning say you need more light over the face. Yeah, this thing about the light, so sorry that uh, in general, because you know, I'm gonna change the settings on my camera and I want you to see this. this. What do you think? Can you see a change? Do you think it's better? No, I'm gonna change it again. You see, it's a little bit darker. Yeah. To be honest, I'm not able to, to tell which one is closer. You know, because I, I, got, I have a lot of light here on, on my little studio and the light is kind of, you know, every time ev everything that I see on, the, on my screen, it looks kind of dull because all the light hit, is hitting my screen. And basically my screen is just for kind of for, you know, give me an idea obviously about the color and and all of that, but uh, I gotta deal with that, you know, it's just, it's impossible not to block, to block all the light hitting my screen and getting that kind of uh, effect. Okay, I think. What time is it? Two hours, 40, almost 45 minutes. Yeah. Okay, uh, I'm going to add a little bit of orange here on the hair. A little bit you know I don't see this but it just I don't want to leave this like 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 I wish that strong accent there and nothing here and it's, I just a little bit okay yeah. okay another thing that uh, I think that I can feel that maybe it's kind of swollen this area. Mm, not so sure. And let's put some. Let's put more light on the face. More pure white here. Right here. Okay, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna blend that. Okay, just one second. Hello, Joy. Joy. Anthony is saying, from what I see, the eyes are a little too glassy and a touch too light. Also, check the length of the upper lips to lower it. Seems to a little, little longer. Okay, thank you. Uh, the highlight on the bridge of her nose should move over the right to the right a bit too a bit too centered. Uh, thumbs damn that's hard to decide which is better. <laughs> uh, okay. okay, thank you for the critiques. Okay. And I would like to know what, which one do you see better? This one that is lighter, everything? Or when I was a little bit darker? Because the other one is the, usually the setup that I use the most, when it's a little bit darker. Yeah, and when I use this setup, it looks like it's too light for some people. Eh, who cares about that, you know, but it just... Eh. I don't care about that that much, but anyway, I would like to know because 
uh, no, forget about that, you know. I'm not gonna even make the effort to to learn this. <laughs> it's just it's just too much. I okay, speaking about the uh, how to control the setups of my camera. Uh, one of my patrons is a photographer and he was telling me hey you gotta control the whites and you gotta do this you gotta do that it doesn't matter how if you buy a new camera you don't control the whites on the camera that's gonna have the same problem Anyway, I like it. You know, I like her glassy eyes. I know that. Uh, you know, I, I I just consider this glassy eyes a happy accident. Okay. And adding a little bit of a reddish color here, closer to the tear duct. Create some transparency there. Okay, now the, the upper lip is flat. I gotta work on that. Okay. A little bit of shadow here. Now, a little bit of light here in the middle. Okay, I'm gonna read the comments. One second, I wanna I wanna read what do you all think? Now there is always a cast shadow from the upper lip on the lower lip, okay? It's pretty subtle, but it's there. here a little bit of this orange on the shadow here okay 
a little bit of orange on the reflected light, a little bit more. Okay. And I'm gonna soften the edge here. There's a little bit of a light here. Yep. Yeah. More highlight to tip of the nose. More highlight here. Remember, not as bright as the tip of the nose. Here too. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, let's go back. Yeah, I like it. Let's see the comments. See, I'm but I see a sharp edge on the nose between light and shadow in the reference photo. The nose between light and shadow. Okay, okay, thank you. Hello, Jordan. Maybe a little smaller nostri nostrils. Okay, okay, could be that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, at least one. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna, call. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fix that. Yeah, 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 yeah. A little bit. Soften the edge here. Mm. Okay. Check out the comments again. Thank you, Anto Anthony Hayes. Okay. Uh, maybe. Okay. I can see it lighter, but I like the darker better. Uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna change it again, yeah? Okay. Okay, let's continue reading. Little light over her left cheek will be better. Little light over her left cheek. Okay. Okay, yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, you mean here, yes? This light. Yeah, here. Yeah, Nikki, I wish I could finish watching this one. Okay, don't worry, Nikki. Yeah. Hello, Melanie. Late to the party. <laughs> Thank you. Melanie, I just I just sent you the paintings like uh, four days ago. You're gonna get them maybe in a week, if everything is okay in a week. Okay, sorry for the delay.
Okay. I'm gonna capture the screen again and let's check out. Photoshop. <laughs> Hello, Adrian. Welcome to my channel. Oh, Rob Sasso is saying the cast shadow, the lips also fixed what I was seeing earlier. Okay, that's good. I'm gonna check out, just give me a second. Everybody gonna check out here. Um, okay. I like it. I like it. I like it. You gotta just soften the line between the lips. Okay. A little bit light here, and a little bit softer here. Okay. 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 Maybe narrow. Or reduce the nostril just by adding a little bit of a sh darker color here. Yep, 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 yep. Soften this. Soften that. Okay. Soften the highlight here and move it a little bit up. Now I'm checking the reverse image. Okay, okay, okay. I like it. I like it, I like it, I like it. Uh, okay, soften the eye, eyebrow here. This light should be a little bit up. And this here is a little bit up. What else? What else? What else? Okay, a little bit of light getting here. Okay, a little bit of light getting in here okay I'm working right now checking out the, the Photoshop and I've been watching the the photograph just Photoshop now I'm going back to watch the photograph
drop my mouse okay uh rub such the only thing i can see now does off is the neck okay uh thank you Marvat. what i see is a slightly more squirt of of chin i think it might okay thank you thank you everybody you know that helps always helps there are things that I'm not gonna be able to to fix. Like I said, there are some things that uh, sometimes I hear critique, and it's, it's just like knock me, you know, hit me on the on the face, and I say and I see it. It's like I've I've been uh, I've been painting. I didn't realize about that, and and sometimes I read the critique and I don't see it, and then that's that makes. Uh, kind of difficult to fix something that I don't see it. Yeah. Well, that's normal, you know. That that happens to everybody. And not ignoring some critics, it's just like if I don't see it that clearly, I'm not gonna be able to fix it. The only way that I have to see it clearly is just the you know the re reverse the, the the image. And that show show shows me more. But anyway, it's not like. At the same time, you know, it's not like the the solution. Another thing that I, I, I do all the time is just, you know, move my eyes, bounce my eyes from the photograph to the painting really fast. Okay, remember it's about comparing and that, that helps me to compare a lot and uh, find the differences in between the two, the image and... and Okay, I see something here. The image and, and the and the painting. Okay. I do that. I think I do that a lot more than anything. Okay, try. I mean, uh, what you gotta do is basically keep your 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 your, your head. You gotta be able. Okay, here's the thing. You gotta be able to watch the photograph, see the photograph and the painting. And you know, bouncing from one to to another just by moving your eyes, not moving your head. Okay, if you move your head to to watch the photograph, that means that you need to move the photograph a little bit closer to the painting. Okay, when you're able to compare both without moving your head, that means that the photograph is close enough enough and we need that we need that remember it's about comparing it's about what we know you know and it's about a lot of comparing and it's easier to compare anything when two things are pretty close okay use it okay use that because you know painting a portrait is difficult those little things make this a little bit easier it's not a solution. It's not a magic trick. It's, I mean, by doing that, it's not. It's not gonna be like, oh my God, now everything is better. No, but that one percent that you're gonna improve, that helps. Everything that everything helps. Measuring helps a lot. There, if there is something that I, I have learned learned in the school of art, the first thing that I keep in doing until today is measuring, 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 measuring all the time. Okay, what do you think about the, the, the chain? I should reduce the chain, the mandible, maybe. Mm. Man, to be honest, I don't know. I think it's okay. Uh, but it could be something that is is uh, on the light here uh, it could be something about light here light here okay one step back but it's more intense, that little thing is more intense here. More colorful, more chroma. Uh, 
And at the same time, I see some kind of cool light here. Little bit. Yeah, definitely I'm thinking one, one of these days I'm gonna make eight hours a marathon to be able how far I can go with a portrait and retouching by retouching and retouching and retouching. But I'm not gonna promise anything, you know. Let me see. Three hours, ten minutes. Time to go. Time to go. That's it for today. Hmm. Okay. Uh, Manuel is saying the eye, the left eye has a little bit more eyelashes. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Uh, okay. Uh, Silvia saying your painting is wonderful, but the light in the face in the picture seems more white. Yeah, it could be a thing of about my camera. Yeah, so sorry about that. Uh, I don't know. Uh, that. Okay. You know, one of the things that I could, I could do with uh, this control is, is do this, make this darker. Okay, in this way I can see more contrast. And at the same time, make this lighter. Whoa, 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 was too much. Look at that lighter. When it's lighter, you can see more on the shadow. But I mean, that's, it's not like that, you know. Yep. Sorry about that, but that's the way it is, you know. And at the same time, I gotta say, at the same time, I gotta say that everybody has a different version depending on the device that you're using. Yeah, what is, what is about? Okay, I think, I think that's it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for everybody for being here. Thank you so much for the critiques, you know. Everything helps. Uh, and see you next week. Okay, same hour, every Thursday, I go live. Thank you, people that's watching the video on Facebook. And thank you, people who's watching the video on YouTube. Hello, Elizabeth. Okay, hello, Ardesh. Melanie saying, I see you've been getting a lot of help today. Yep. <laughs> Jard is saying, it's magnifique. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much, everybody. Okay. See you next week. Take care, you all. If you are not subscribed to my channel, yeah, I guess suggest to subscribe. And if you like 
what I do, you know, smash the like button. Smash it, you know, break the keyboard. Okay, take care everybody, bye. <laughs> okay. I'm laughing because I'm, re I'm reading rap comment. <laughs> okay, bye.